I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I know that we did. It was very different and quiet, of course, as I know many of you also experienced, but it was still lovely and we have lots to be grateful for. And I have taken the last week off just to relax and um, recharge a little bit before celebration starts January 5th with Stampin' Up. Very, very exciting. And some of the things that I've been making during this week when I'm just relaxing and crafting are some albums. I am having the most fun creating these albums and they're just using some cardstock, some designer series paper and uh, chipboard. Very, very easy to put together and I've been decorating it using our Memories and More card packs. But of course you could use dies and stamps. Um, I'll also be incorporating some stamps, but whenever I discover something fun, I just have to share it with all of you. So I can't wait to show you how these albums come together. So let's get stamping. Okay, so to get started, I am going to be using products from our Dandy Garden Suite. So this is our Dragonfly Garden Bundle. So it's got the Coordinating Punch and the Stamp Set. And these are coming out in our new mini catalog starting on January the 5th. And I'm also going to be using um, our Memories and More cards from the same, same collection, as well as our 6x6 uh, Designer Series paper. So I've just pulled colors from my cardstock out of this paper. So this is Calypso Coral, so that's what I'm going to be using for my cardstock. So I'm going to put all this aside. I will come back to that. So to make this album, you are going to need eight pieces of cardstock. Now, I need to say, this is not my original idea. This is from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, and I found her tutorial for this over the holidays, and I made a couple for Christmas gifts. I don't have them to uh, show you because I've already given them away, but uh, I am hooked on making the these. Just love it. And just cut that and then I'm going to spin it around and score it at six and a quarter okay so when it's open it's six and a quarter by eleven you scored along the eleven inch side at the six and a quarter mark and then our six by six paper will fit perfectly onto this. So this is a great album to use up our 6x6 six six paper. So I love, love, love this. So I'm going to do that for the next seven pieces of cardstock. Okay, so once all these pieces are cut, you're going to have these strips left over. You want to take five of those, and these all measure two and a quarter by the width. Let's see, we're going to need five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to cut these at six and a quarter. So you're going to have five pieces that measure six and a quarter by two and a quarter. And each piece you want to score it at one and slide it over to one and a quarter and score. And these are going to be the pieces that bind our pages together. So I will take my bone folder and score on those once I finish cutting them all, but those are gonna be the bits and pieces that hold everything together. So easy. So I'm gonna finish cutting these. Okay, so all my pieces are cut and folded. So I have my six and a quarter by 11 pieces scored at six and a quarter. They're done. And then I have my two and a quarter by six and a quarter pieces scored at one and one and a quarter. And then they have all been folded as well. So now we want to put these together. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue and you're going to glue uh, two of these together and you want them so that these flaps are both on the outside and I'm also going to keep this top portion open so I can use that for a pocket so you keep that in mind when you're putting your glue don't put glue along here if you want to have your pocket up on the top so I'm just gonna make get the glue going first there we go I love this glue okay and then going that way to 
just line them up and so you've got those pieces going out kind of think of it as an arrow pointing to the right <laughs> sometimes I need to remember things like that so I remember the directions so so think of a an arrow pointing to the right and again if you want this to be a pocket don't put glue on the top I wanted this to be pocket pages for the album I made at Christmas time and I forgot so I had glue right across so I did not have pockets on the first album that I made so you want to do that to um, these ones so that you have a total of four pieces stuck together. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have my four pages all glued together, the two pieces put together, and now it's time to put on these pieces, which is going to leave a quarter of an inch um, space between each one. So I'm just gonna open this up, and I'm going to glue this one right on top here so this is going to get glued right on the edge so I'm just folding it over to make sure that the creases line up okay So these are now pointing to the left. I'm gonna flip it over and add another one right here. Okay. Just kind of folding it over to make sure I get the crease to line up. And the glue does stick fast. Hold it down. Okay. So there we have our flaps on. And then these two pieces again are off to the left. And now we need to attach a page. So I'm going to bring this one in and again with these two pieces towards the left. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so with these going towards the left, you're going to take this piece and add some glue. Actually, we'll add some glue here. <laughs> so we're just going to add some glue on top of this flap. And then we're going to glue this right on top. Okay. Just like that. So there we have one done. So this is how it's all gonna come together. I'm just gonna flip this over and add a page here. You can put it down and give it a little rub as well. There we go. You can see I need a little bit more glue in here. So I'm going to take another one of these and I'm just going to repeat everything I just did. Okay, so I accidentally put some glue on this last little flap here. Not quite ready for that. So I scraped it off, gonna let it dry. I have one more piece left. This is gonna go on the other side and this is going to um, hold our front covers together. So again, I'm just lining up the crease line. So when you're done, there's your spine, okay, your gussets, and then all your pieces are together on there, so it's going to go like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I have two more pieces of the same cardstock, the Calypso Coral, and this is to wrap my chipboard in. So this is actually from an envelope that I got. Um, so you could use the pieces that come behind our 12 by 12 paper packs, um, recycle it like I have. These both measure six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue, okay? And I'm just gonna put this on like so and I'll trim off the excess. And I am going to wrap this cardstock around. Now you can use designer series paper um, but because I know I want to use my 6x6 dragonfly paper um, to decorate the front I wanted the um, chipboard to be covered in the same paper that I used on the inside. Okay so I'm just gonna trim this. I'm not being super particular about the, um, the measurements but I am just lining this um, bar up to the cardboard. Okay, so now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut on the diagonal of all four corners. And I'm going to fold each piece over and then glue it down. So I know many of you um, make lots of albums. I have not made tons of albums, but I can tell you I am completely, totally, um, that's my new thing. But I can tell you I want to make more because every time I make an album, I just love it and think, why do I not make more of these? So I think this is going to be my new passion for 2021 is making albums. And I can tell I just want to trim that down just a little bit closer to that tip. All right. Time to glue. And I'm not worried about these flaps not being all the same size because they're going to get covered up anyways. So there's my piece covered with the cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this one next. Okay, so now that I have my chipboard covered in cardstock, I want to put them onto my book. So I'm gonna bring my book back in. And this piece where I put my glue on a little bit too soon, cause I was getting a little too excited, I'm gonna put glue back on that. Okay. And then take my one cover and just line it up again with that crease. And give it a little love. Okay. There's one. Gonna flip it over and do the other one exactly the same way. So, this is what you should have at this stage of the game. You should have your book. We have a couple more things to do before we can decorate it, but you've got your cover, you've got your pages that open up, and then of course your back cover. So much fun. So now we need a piece to cover the spine. Okay, so to cover the spine, you are going to need another piece of cardstock, and this measures six and a quarter by four. And I've got my Simply Scoring tool and my Take Your Pick. I'm going to change to put my stylus on. And you want to score it at, along the four inch side, you want to score it at one and three. And then every quarter inch in between. And then you want to curve it a little bit, so I'm just going to take my, take your pick tool and just kind of roll it. And do the same thing on this side. And that will just give this the natural curve that you need. 
to cover your spine. All right. And I'm going to fold on the one inch and the three inch marks just to um, get it all nice for gluing on. So this is going to get glued on right on the front, lining up that one inch mark on the crease here. So let's get some glue. And just lining up this crease right along the top, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on the back. And flip that over. So I can see where the crease line is, lining it up right along the top of that chipboard cover. And then you've got this spine covered. So there is the base of the album. Completely done. Easy, easy, and now it's time to decorate. So the hard part is picking the designer's use paper to put on the front. I'm going to go with the dragonfly pattern. I just can't decide if I want the bigger. Yes, I want the bigger size. So I'm gonna put that on the front. Here's my friend. Now I'm going to do the inside. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, color am I going to put? I'm going to put the yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do this one. I'm going to put the same yellow. I want that one. So I haven't decided what I'm going to use this album for yet. Um, I know I want to make a few of these for gifts. Um, I know that these would make great little photo gifts and these would also make great little recipe books. I have a Christmas one that I made that is going to be um, for my Christmas recipes and I'm gonna journal my Christmas traditions little idea I got from watching a Christmas Hallmark movie this past holiday season and I loved that idea was having an album for your Christmas traditions. So I am just going to go ahead and keep adding designer series paper inside this book. Okay so I have um, my front and my back and then the inside I have put my six by six designer series paper inside every one in the back and now I want to cover the flaps so the designer series paper needs to be cut down to measure six by four and a half so I'll go ahead and do one of those and I'm going to do that for the back side as well so I'm just going to Go ahead and finish that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my designer series paper um, adhered inside my book. So I'll just do a quick walk through. Show you that. Let me zoom out. There we go. Okay. In the back page. Um, I will mention I ran out of some of my Dragonfly designer series paper just because I've been using it so much since I got it. No problem because I had designer series paper. Um, this is our in color designer series paper that coordinated. So I used some Misty Moonlight and where else did I put some? Uh, here I used my Bumblebee so it just incorporates very very nicely in with this dragonfly paper so um you can definitely combine your your dsps together and they work out great 
So remember when I was talking about adding your glue as a U, so you've got pockets. I now have pockets, so I can fill them up with um, tags and things. And I can put photos in here. What I am going to do is just add some embellishments from my Memories and More card pack. And then I will finish decorating this another time. But at least I can show you um, some of the fun ways we can um, use these cards and more in our album. So I'm just going to go through and randomly add a few um, of these cards and embellishments. And then I will... Um, add some other different things inside this album but just just to give you an idea of how we can use these cards so we've got life is an adventure we have these fun little stickers as well which is really cool little bumblebees and little things and then fun strips so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some of the um, some of the cards I want to use Okay, so I have been working on this album all day and I'm having so much fun, but if I don't stop, I'm not gonna get this video up online for you guys. So it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna continue working on for a while, but I added a pocket inside my album, which I'll show you, um, but I know some of you are gonna wonder how I made it. So I'm gonna tell you how. So this is one of our um, four by six cards from the Memories and More pack. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in and along the six inch side, I'm going to score it at half an inch. Actually, I'm gonna put it in this way. Okay, so let's just pretend we just had it that way. We scored it at half an inch. Now I'm gonna score it at three and one quarters. Okay, so we got half, three and a quarter and then I'm going to spin it around and score it again at half. Okay, so where's my bone folder? So I'm going to fold up this flap at the half inch mark and this flap at the half inch mark and then fold this over on the three and one quarter inch mark. Now where these two half inch marks um, intercept there's your little square down here so I just want to cut that off and then this rectangular piece down here we don't need so I'm going to cut that as well okay so that's what you're going to end up with and what I'm going to do as well as this bottom flap, I'm just going to um, cut diagonally on those. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to. Okay, so next, before I seal that, actually, I want to stamp something while this is flat. So I'm going to take my Make a Difference stamp set and stamp 2021. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this in Calypso Coral. stamping my year I wrote down a quote which reads to accomplish great things we must not only act but also dream not only plan but also believe so I put that on there because I liked it and now I'm bringing my one and a half inch circle punch and I'm just gonna put it in halfway perfect and now it's time to glue this together. So, so easy. Okay. Put that down over there like so. And just 
fold that up. And that is a very, very easy peasy pocket to make. And I have a tag that I already made as well. And this tag is going to go in here like that. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to go ahead and glue this inside my book. So I'm just going to take my glue again. And I'm just simply going to glue that right about here. And now my tag slides in and out. So let me show you what I've done. So here's the front. And I just cut this from one of the cards in the card pack and I added some gold gems to the designer series paper on top of the dragonflies, some gold um, metallic paper cut with our layering square dies. And then I've just gone through and I've added some embellishments and some cards. I'll definitely be adding more and more as I go. Here's um, another pocket that I made here. And it has two tags in it. So this one again is using one of the um, cards in the card pack. I just trimmed it down and added a strip of scrap paper. And on the back I wrote some things that I'm grateful for. And then this tag. This I printed out with my Fomemo printer. Um, love this little printer. I'm still using it all the time. And I will link the video in the description below this video um, where I showcase this printer and how you can go ahead and get one of these printers if you want one. They are really, really cool. I love it. So I'm going to stick those tags back in. And, um, and of course, these pages aren't finished. This also I printed off with my Fomemo printer and then I started using my stamp. So this is the stamp from one of our sets. And this part here is a little funny. This was an accident. This was the edge of the rubber on the stamp. So I got that little streak of black. So I just took my marker and turned it into an arrow. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good. And I'm gonna have so much fun finishing this. So here's couple more of the pages and again I'm going to be putting photos and journaling and um, lace and material and all kinds of fun things in here again this is a stamp right here and this here was also printed off with the Fomemo printer and I just put it on one of the cards mounted it on some white cardstock I've got a little bit of a square doily here to give a bit of texture some banners another dragonfly this is just gonna be so much fun to fill out as um, the year goes along picture of my guy and I and again there'll be more photos the tag that little pocket that we just made and then I'm gonna do some more journaling and here I want to, I'm going to print some um, two by two photos, I think, and then put three down here and the back. So this is just the most fun. And I know you're going to get so many different ideas on how you can use an album like this. And um, they're just going to be great gifts. They're going to be great to have in your collection, great for different occasions. And I just wanted to share this with you and give you an idea of something fun that you can make. So the products I used on today's album are from our Dandy Garden um, Dragonfly Suite. That's from our 2021 mini catalog, which will be available on January 5th from Stampin' Up. So if you would like to purchase these or any other Stampin' Up products, and if you live in Canada, I'd be happy to help you. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up demonstrator, uh, I'll have the links below in my description. And if you live outside of Canada, just visit stampinup.com and you can find a demonstrator in your country near you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and happy stamping.